patuloy tayo mga kapatid sa ating pagtatalakay sa ating paksa o topiko on the church established by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Those who purport to ignore Christ's church through their own disobedience no longer belong to its unity. Kasi ngayong panahon na ito, may mga tao na nagsasabi na gusto, gusto lang namin yung personal relationship with Christ. Hindi namin kailangan yung church or religion. Uh, we only want Christianity but not churchianity. Hmm, something is wrong with that kind of a statement. Uh, kung titingnan natin, how can you establish a good a faithful and strong relationship with Christ if you don't follow what Christ said itong sabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo in Matthew chapter 18 verse 17 if he refuses to listen even to the church let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector sa Tagalog Matthew chapter 18 verse 17 at kung ayaw niyang pakinggan sila ay sabihin mo sa iglesia at kung ayaw rin niyang pakinggan ang iglesia ay ipalagay mo siyang tulad sa hintel at maniningil ng buwis so yun ang napala ng mga taong nag uh, deny sa church of Christ they are treated as gentile anong ibig sabihin ng gentile uh, those who uh, do not belong to the uh, people of God in the Old Testament times no? or during the time of Jesus Christ no? they uh, do not have the uh, true faith in uh, Yahweh and uh, ito naman uh, they are also treated as tax collector yung hindi nakikinig sa iglesia ano yung tax collector una tax collector sila ng Israel at yung tax ibinibigay nila sa Roma. So, mga traitor sila, no? Considered traitors sila sa mga fellow Israelites nila. Or, at the same time, their uh, behavior is that oftentimes they are tempted to get the money. No? To steal the money of the people. So, yun. Uh, that is the lot of those people according to Jesus Christ who refuse to follow the church or listen to the church that's why if we want to have a good relationship with Christ or personal relationship with Christ dapat eh, uh, lahat, la, uh, lahat lahatin na natin yung, yung sinabi ni Jesus Christo no? susundin na natin that we should obey the church we should listen to the church or else we shall be treated as Gentiles or pagans or tax collectors to ignore the church one effectively ignores Christ in Luke chapter 10 verse 16 he who hears you the apostles or the people of God the hierarchy or the church leaders hears me sabi ni Jesus Christ and he who rejects you rejects me uh, Saint Luke chapter 10 verse 16 sa Tagalog Ang nakikinig sa inyo ay sa akin nakikinig at ang nagtatakwil sa inyo ay ako ang itinatakwil at ang nagtatakwil sa akin ay nagtatakwil sa aking nagsugo o sa aking nagsugo so nagtatakwil din sa ama so kasi delegated power uh, yung binigay ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa mga apostoles Pero kahit delegated power yon, it reverts to the um, source of the power who is Jesus Christ. Kaya insulto naman na uh, personal kay uh, Panginoong Heso Kristo na nag-establish siya ng uh, duly delegated church authorities pero dinideny naman ng iba. No? So hindi consistent sa Bible actually. At saka hindi rin consistent sa sa will ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kagustuhan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo 
despite the disobedience and protestations of its enemies and the rebellious Christ will protect the church so that the gates of Hades and the gates of hell will not overcome it so of course uh, even uh, nowadays according to the survey the most persecuted people in the world today are the Christians and among Christians the most persecuted ones are the Catholics yeah uh, so um, kahit sa United States ngayon eh uh, yung mga Catholics who would like to be uh, good Catholics by fighting against abortion ay inang ostracize sila sa public fora no? gusto na mga tao may abortion gusto nila may uh, ano ito uh, may uh, selling of uh, the parts of the fetus etc so kasi ayaw na nila maging responsible sa kanilang sexual acts o sa kanilang uh, asawa o sa kanilang partner so kung magkabunga ipa-abort na lang so uh, the moment na ikaw ay Catholic na you want to follow the teachings of Christ and teachings of the church they will immediately label you as and ito by God religious by God or racist or you're insulting the the feelings of others who would like to continue abortion yan so kahit Christians are persecuting their own or fellow Christians no mayroong mga Catholics who say uh, they are Catholics but uh, they don't follow Catholic doctrine so what uh, what can you say about them are they real Catholics no see so <clears throat> even uh, these things uh, that are happening today uh, could not overcome the church because Christ said the gates of Hades or Hades or the gates of hell will not overcome the church the church will continue to to teach or preach to govern or serve and then sanctify or continue its uh, priestly office of uh, making the people of God holy through its doctrine and morals and in uh, in um, Matthew 28 verse 20 Christ said I will be with you always at all times until the end of the world anong end of the world <laughs> hindi yan physical na end ng earth ha? kasi hindi naman flat itong earth eh. spherical ito no? yung spherical wala namang ending yan eh uh, ang wakas ng panahon sa so, wakas ng panahon or uh, panahon na mayroong mga evil doers no? kasi pagbalik ni Jesus Christ yung mga evil doers na yan no? na hindi nagrepent until the end of their lives yan hos ga ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo at ilalagay yan sa uh, priso no? life imprisonment no? reclusion perpetua yan yan eternal imprisonment uh, in hell <clears throat> together with the demons and uh, the devils our lord not only uh, took pains to establish his church but endowed it with four outstanding visible signs or marks which are intrinsic only to it one holy catholic and apostolic so the four marks or the four signs of the church is that it is one or united holy or it is sacred and catholic or universal apostolic or it uh, is traced down <coughs> from the time of the apostles so uh, christ said i will build my church not churches nowadays there are more than uh, 44,000 churches throughout the world according to the survey and those 44,000 churches and denominations are um, arguing against uh, one another but uh, that is not the will of Christ he willed that there is only one church kaya nga sabi niya I will establish my church not churches <laughs> 
Now, uh, there are many uh, churches that claim to be uh, the church established by Christ, and uh, there are so many. No? They are not united uh, as one body in doctrine and discipline. Uh, kasi may tatlong divisions lang ang main divisions ang Christianity. Catholic uh, the Church, Orthodox Church, and then the Protestant Churches. Sa Protestant Churches alone, there are 44, or four, more than 44,000 throughout the world. They are not united. So, that really uh, pains us. No? Uh, because division, even in family, really uh, hurt us. But what we uh, need to do is to pray and to work for dialogue and for unity. Itong video nito is also a part of dialogue. Not to harm or to condemn others outside of the Catholic Church, but to exchange ideas. No? It is ideas in a peaceful way. So that we can arrive at the truth, and um, the truth is that Christ established only one church, and this church is united. So in uh, Matthew or in Saint John chapter ten verse sixteen, it uh, was stated by Jesus Christ that there shall be one flock and one shepherd. Sa tagalog at mayroon akong ibang mga tupa na hindi sa kulungang ito sila ay kailangan din namang dalhin ko at kanilang diringgin ang aking tinig at sila ay magiging isang kawan at magkaroon ng isang pastor so uh, mga pari natin pastor din yan eh shepherds no so pero sa kabuuan kabuuan there is only one shepherd no the good shepherd is Jesus Christ but when he entered into heaven when he ascended to heaven he he left or he appointed one supreme shepherd who was uh, acting like his uh, prime minister and that was Peter and uh, until now the Pope is acting as the prime minister of Jesus Christ observing this one uh, one flock and one shepherd doctrine the central authority of the Pope of Rome has kept the Catholic Church united in doctrine and discipline since the days of the Roman Empire. Uh, Non-Catholic churches continue to splinter. No? Buwan buwan. Uh, semana semana. Mayroong mga divisions and endless subdivisions in, uh, so to say, uh, non-Catholic uh, churches. No? Uh, they would like to be united but uh, try as they may they cannot be united they can only be united when they go back to the original plan of our Lord Jesus Christ go back to Rome uh, this spender uh, with the advent of its new self-appointed prophet in quotation who claims to hold the true meaning of the scripture the next characteristic of the church is uh, holy. Of course, lahat tayo gusto natin maging holy. No? And ang opposite ng holiness is sinfulness. No? Uh, pero, your God wants us to be cleansed from our sinfulness so that we become holy. To be separated for Him. In John chapter 17 verse 19, Christ said, And for their sakes... I sanctify myself so that they may also be sanctified in truth. Sa Tagalog, at dahil sa kanilay pinabanal ko ang aking sarili upang sila naman ay mangagpakabanal sa katotohanan. So the truth makes us sanctified or holy. The true church will be holy in her founder kasi ang founder Jesus Christ eh. kasi anong, kung anong puno ay isang bunga. Teachings and worship so you worship the mass uh, participating in the whole worship of the people of God and uh, having the sacrifice of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and the teachings uh, especially the moral teachings against uh, contraception against uh, abortion against uh, murder 
and um, many other things that Christ taught uh, and the church continues to teach this will make us holy there is no guarantee that all its members will practice no? hindi naman lahat magpa-practice no? what she preaches as is gathered from our Lord's images of the sower of the seed in Matthew chapter 13 verses 18 to 23 no? mayroong seed na seed na madamo pala no? aside from the uh, the wheat no? the net enclosing the fish in Matthew chapter 13 47 to 52 so mayroong good fish mayroong bad fish no? na sinabi si Jesus Christo no? so ang church na ito is composed of sinners and saints alike no and the sheep and the goats in Matthew 25, 31 to 46. So, hindi to perfect na church. But uh, Christ would like it to be holy. No? The survival of the Catholic Church despite the examples of bad popes. I'm not inventing this. I uh, have a research on this. No? Only reinforces the fact that the holiness of the church derives from Christ and Him alone. Our professor in uh, church history, uh, Father Schumacher, said that there might be uh, six bad popes in the 2,000 years of history of the church, but uh, but uh, uh, the church still survives until today. It is the um, it is the uh, the kingdom that Christ said will have no end. So all other kingdoms will uh, fall will disintegrate but this kingdom which is the church will never end then the uh, third characteristic of this church is that it is catholic catholic means universal onum versus ali one against all that is the meaning of universal going therefore and make disciples of all nations saint matthew chapter 28 verse 19 so Christ said, go and make disciples of all nations. So, hindi lang national Israel, kundi nations. No? Uh, pumunta ng Rome, pumunta ng Greece, pumunta ng Asia, uh, Spain, uh, Europe, tapos uh, here in the Philippines. No? In fact, here in the Philippines, by, uh, by uh, this uh, March 2021, we shall... Uh, we shall celebrate the 500 years of Christianity here in the Philippines, uh, especially Catholic Christianity. So, yon. But the uh, one fourth lang yun ng age ng church, no? Because for 1,500 years, nag exist na yung Christianity in other parts of the world. No? Pasalamat tayo sa Panginoon na uh, pumunta yung mga sila ni Magellan dito at na Christianize tayo, no? Yon. So, uh, yan ang uh, mabuting uh, na-contribute ng ibang bansa sa atin yung ating religion na Christianismo. Remaining essentially one and the same, the church adapts to all times, places, and people. Kasi Catholic in moment of time, no? from the time of Christ until the end of the world. Catholic in, uh, in uh, uh, the virtue of places. It's all nations throughout the world yan uh, and the uh, catholic by virtue of its people or having all tongues or languages or uh, colors yan ang sinasabi sa revelation chapter 7 and sa revelation chapter 14 no? this is universal no? so uh, no nation or race ex is excluded from her folds no language from proclaiming uh, her gospel so walang language na na, na exclude dito no? kaya mayroong ilonggo, may tagalog, may sibuano mayroong latin mayroong spanish, portuguese all languages actually no? kasi yan ang sinasabi sa book of revelation those who assert that the true believers are only white and anglo-saxon <laughs> limit the redeeming power of Christ's precious blood no? hindi na naman uh, white lad yun eh, no? si Dios guys si Asian eh, uh, Israelite no? uh, uh, tapos uh, ang Israel uh, part ng Asia pa yan eh, no? so 
Um, uh, tapos mayroon namang Africans. No? Sa Africa, tumutubo, lumalago ang Kristyanismo ngayon. Sa Africa, fastest uh, growing religion ang Christianity. So, uh, this is the meaning of uh, Catholic. It's universal. And then the fourth and uh, the last uh, mark or sign of the church is that it is apostolic. No? Some people are thinking, oh, mark. Mark pala. No? Mayroong mark of the beast uh, in Revelation 13 verses uh, 16 to 18. No? Of course, may mark yung beast. No? Kasi sunod-sunuran yan sa Panginoon. Eh. Kung ano ang ginagawa ng Panginoon, gumagawa niyan din yan ng mga parang photocopy o mga sunod-sunuran. No? Nag-aagaw ng patent, kaya nga. No? Nag-aagaw ng intellectual property. In uh, Revelation chapter 14, yung mga sumusunod sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, may mark sila sa forehead uh, of the name of God. No? Kaya itong sign of the cross uh, sa forehead natin yun. Eh, no? Sa heart din kasi we love God with all our heart. Sa shoulder with all our strength. No? Ang mark natin ay uh, ang cross ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo of which He died to save us. No? At saka uh, sacred yun kasi uh, pinoproclaim yan sa, sa Luke chapter 9 verse 23 Christ said whoever wants to follow me must take up his cross deny himself and follow me at saka sa Galatians chapter 6 verse 14 sabi ni St. Paul I glory not of myself but of the cross of Christ yung yun, uh, niluluwalhati niya no? pinapurihan niya ang pinapa, pinapapurihan niya yung cross ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Bakit niya pinapapurihan? Because uh, yan ang instrumento ng Panginoong Isos ta upang tayo ay maligtas sa, sa kasalanan. Kaya yung mark natin as Christians is the cross. So, uh, iba rin yung mark of the beast. <laughs> 666. No? So, uh, yan ay yung mga nagkukontra sa Kristyanismo. Yan. Nagkukontra sa simbahan pero hindi hindi ay mananalo kasi Jesus Christ uh, has already sta stated the powers of hell will not overcome the church the church is apostolic the true church will trace its history and doctrine right back to the apostles themselves in Matthew 28 verse 20 Christ said I am with you always always meaning say, at all times he was referring to the apostles because yung kaharap niya, yung sabihin niya yung Great Commission, yung 12 apostles, yung 11 na pala. Uh, kasi nabala na si Judas. No? Uh, later on, uh, pinalitan ni, uh, ni Matthias. No? Kaya sa uh, Book of Revelation, mayroon pa rin 12 uh, pillars in heaven. No? Na in honor of the 12 apostles. No? Yan. Pero hindi na yun, uh, hindi na yun uh, included dyan si Judas. No? Kasi pinalitan na siya ni Matthias in Acts chapter 1 verses 20 and following. Uh, sa Matthew 28 verse 20, sabi niya ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, na ituro ninyo sa kanila na kanilang ganapin ang lahat ng mga bagay na iniotos ko sa inyo. So, hindi lang Ten Commandments. Ha, no? May yung naotos din about the sacraments. No? Baptize all nations. Yan. Tapos, uh, do this in memory of me. No? Uh, sacrament of uh, the Eucharist din yan. No? So, uh, uh, ang dami rin commandments si Jesus Christ na wala sa commandments sa Old Testament. Kaya nga Old Testament na yan eh. Kasi luma na yan. No? Itong bago. No? Bago. May mga bagay, uh, mga moralidad na kinuha, hinaho sa Old Testament pero uh, hindi lahat na mga sa Old Testament ay, uh, ay uh, inobserve pa sa New Testament. Kaya nung unang panahon sa Old Testament, sacrifice of the body and blood of animals. Sa New Testament, sacrifice of the body and blood of Christ. Sa Old Testament, 
priesthood nila, Levitical priesthood, Aaronic priesthood, sa New Testament, the priesthood of Christ, uh, the priesthood of Melchizedek in Genesis chapter 14, wherein Melchizedek, the high priest, offered bread and wine. So, itong priesthood natin ngayon sa New Testament. So, uh, apostolic ito mga kapatid at kapanalig sa pananampalataya. Uh, Jesus guys said, uh, uh, everything that I have commanded you. So, apostolic yun. Since the time of the apostles, ito ang pinanampalatayahan natin. Tapos, ito ang na-observe natin. No? So, uh, the Pope, uh, 267 Popes in uh, unbroken succession can be traced from Pope Francis to um, uh, Pope uh, Benedict XVI from Pope Benedict XVI to Pope John Paul II Pope John Paul II for, with uh, Pope John Paul I John Paul I to Pope Paul VI Pope Paul VI to John XXIII Pius XII etc. Huh? So yun ang makikita natin na uh, the verdict of history and scholarship it was not established in 1517 uh, by Luther or 1534 by John Calvin or in 19th century uh, madami dyan 19th century may 1863 may 1830 may 1872 yung mga uh, tatlong churches na yun marami dito sa Pilipinas no? pero bagong salta lang yan, 19th century no? wala pa yan nung panahon ni Magellan eh. <laughs> wala pa yan nung uh, kanunuan natin no? kasi uh, 1800s lang yan yung panahon ni Rizal siguro pa yan uh, so yun uh, only the Roman Catholic Church can show itself to be one holy Catholic and apostolic no? Ito ang verdict ng mga Church Fathers. St. Clement of Rome, Letter to the Corinthians, A.D. 96-98. to 98. Yeah. So, first century pa. Sinasabi ni St. Clement of Rome. The first, uh, itong uh, one of the uh, first five popes in the first century. The apostles received the gospel for us from the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ was sent from God. Christ therefore is from God, and the apostles are from Christ. Both of these orderly arrangements then are by God's will. Sa, sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. Receiving their instructions and being full of confidence on account of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And confirmed in faith by the word of God. They went forth in complete assurance of the Holy Spirit. So, uh, this is the thing. Nor was this a novelty, for bishops and deacons had been written about long time earlier. Indeed, Scripture somewhere says, I will set up their bishops in righteousness and their deacons in faith. So, may mga bishops and deacons na sa first century. Saint Clement of Alexandria, Misilanis, uh, 202 AD. From what has been said, then it was, it seems clear to me that the true church, that which is really ancient, is one. Uh, so, uh, it, it is the same um, as Saint Ignatius of Antioch, pala, uh, 110 AD, uh, said, where a crisis, there is the Catholic Church. Huh? Why? Because Christ is the head and the church is his body. Hindi mo ma-separate yan. Kaya kung gusto mo mag-establish ng personal relationship with Christ, eh tayo mga Katoliko, mayroon tayong personal relationship with Christ. No? Because Christ is our head and we are his body. And not only that, we partake of the body and blood of Christ in the Holy Eucharist. So, in conclusion mga kapatid, uh, we uh, say that uh, Christ established the uh, one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church as we profess in the Apostles' Creed and in the Nicene Creed and uh, this uh, church will continue 
until the end of the world. That's why if we follow Christ, we should we should uh, follow him we should abide with him and should be in this body uh, which is the church may god bless us all amen